This is the Bookshop Builder Page A5 double stamp set. So there's two A5 stamp sets in here. One of them is your background, uh, so if your dictionary um, page, and then the other one is three individual items that you can use with the page or without. So this is what they look like. They're on their separate backing sheets. Um, let's just pop this onto a plain piece of paper first of all so you can see the size so they really do fill an A5 sheet in fact what I'm going to do is just take the stamp off because the stamp has some ink on it at the moment so you see it's one solid piece there but if we just look at the backing that's what you have when it's stamped now the center has been faded out so that you can pop a focal point inside here this is intended to be a background uh, and not the focal point itself so when you then use any one of these images, so the typewriter, the stack of books, or the floral spray, you'll have something that looks like this. So there's the books, there's the typewriter, you see how they just fit in absolutely perfectly, and there's the floral piece. So uh, they really work together well for lots and lots of different occasions and lots of different genres. So let's just take a look at some examples of how I've used this. So here I have just used the dictionary book page in the background and rather than stamping into the centre there I've just covered it over with some pieces of different elements from the bookshop collection. So it just makes a lovely muted background. Then I've got this one here where I've stamped the dictionary page in brown ink. I've then stamped the floral piece inside and uh, coloured that in using pencils. And I've got some glossy accents. You can just see that shining there on the petals as well. So it looks like it's a piece from a flower identification book or something like that. Here I've, I've um, used the stamp and you don't have to use it on A5 cards. You can absolutely use it, of course on um, smaller cards to cut it down and I've stamped the typewriter on there so what I've done is I've heat embossed with white uh, powder the um, outline there so the background all those words so uh, they're a little harder to see because I've used embossing but that the idea is I just wanted the texture I didn't want you to be able to definitely read those letters but it just adds some nice texture and detail to the background on the typewriter I've also re-stamped it onto a piece of white cardstock and just cut out the paper element to put that over the top so I could put my sentiment over there. I've then used on this card, I've just used the books without the, um, the text background, just stamped those books, coloured them in with um, a, uh, alcohol pens and then I've just cut those, hand cut those out and added them to my card. You can see in the background there, just on craft, you've got very subtle stamping using brown ink there. And here I used a black ink in the background. Again, not using one of the centerpieces, but instead just using it as a background. Exactly the same here. But what I did is rather than using ink on my stamp in the background there, you can just see that. I've actually used water, so I've used a distress oxide or distress ink to uh, colour in the background there to blend that in. And then I spritzed the text stamp with water, stamped that on using my stamping platform, and that's just reacted there. So the centerpiece. Uh, where there's nothing, the water that sat on there, that reacted and it almost looks egg shape actually, which is ideal to have these birds in front. And you can find out details about things like the birds and the books that you can see on these cards. They're included in the bookshop collection and you'll find uh, videos for these on the product pages on Craft Stash 2. So take a look at the A5 stamp set. So that's the double stamp set from Textures that has the large background and the individual embellishment pieces too.